This is the Focus Astronomical Telescope. Let's take it out of the box. In the box you get a tripod complete with a carry bag for it. Of course the manual which is actually very well written. They give you a whole bunch of different lenses. This is the aerosolar filter and a moon lens. Over here is your zenith mirror. This is a uh, 5x Barlow lens. Three different eyepieces, finder scope, and a phone mount as well. The magnification on this is 20 to 333 times. The Barlow lens that I had showed you before, the black one right there, provides for a larger magnified feel, field of view. 70 millimeter objective diameter and 400 millimeter focal length. The eyepieces and the white containers there, I'll show you one in a minute, are 612 and 20 millimeters. And that will provide different magnifications as you put in the different eyepieces. Here's one of the eyepieces, just to show you. Okay, like that and there and obviously you look through that and there's different ones like I said I'll take this one this has a much larger lens on it right there so you will get different magnification based on the eyepiece that you use you have to assemble this it's pretty much as simple as putting the telescope on the tripod and then mounting up the zenith mirror and eyepiece and finder scope and of course you can use the phone mount if you'd like. I'm going to show you what I know based on reading the book. I'm doing this cold. I've never done it before. Here's the finder scope. That's the part you see through and that's where you point it and that just goes into the holder right there like that and that snaps in. Back over here, pull the cap off. Tight fit. There we are. Pull the caps off the zenith mirror. This can only go one way. I'm going to loosen that. Tighten it down. We'll get an eyepiece. This one. We'll just start with whatever's here. Loosen the screw for that. Stick that in. And around here, you take off the big cap. And there's your telescope. You can swap in the Barlow lens if you want instead. And the phone mount would go kind of over that as such. We'll play with that a little bit later, but there's your finished telescope all put together. Just like that. You can, of course, raise the tripod, this one. It's not the sturdiest tripod I've ever seen, but it'll certainly get the job done. You can, of course, use any tripod that you want with it. There's even a bubble level on it. If you put that right there, nice and level. And there you go. So I know that a telescope is meant for the night sky. It's the daytime. I have a limited amount of time to get this done here. Uh, you see I placed the phone mount on there and the phone is on there. To focus the telescope, first you look through the finder scope and get a general idea of what you want. Then you twiddle the knob here while looking through the telescope to actually see what you're looking at. So, really the best I have right now, we're going to look over here, and if you see over that house, that tree, way off in the distance, right there, is what I have the phone on. So let's switch to that video for a moment. And you can see there is the top of the tree. 
obviously it's going to jitter like that because you can't have it absolutely absolutely stable and wind and other things like that but certainly it got that i don't know if it's completely in focus it's kind of hard to tell through the phone to be sure but it will definitely achieve a very sharp focus without any problem now of course this is sort of a beginner's telescope but it's good enough to quote unquote get your feet wet with it you can spend thousands and thousands of dollars on really high-end telescopes if you really get into it but this certainly will get you started and uh, it's pretty nicely pointed they give you a lot of accessories everything with it it's pretty simple to put together and you know you can have some fun looking at different stuff through that uh, daytime or nighttime we saw daytime now nighttime is much later once again this was the focus astronomical telescope if you'd like to purchase this item I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon thanks for watching make sure you click like make sure you click subscribe and take care we'll see you next time bye bye